Hello, my name is Henk Weimirsch and I'm with the Signals and Systems Department at Chalmers University of Technology. This presentation will describe a Bayesian method to remove ranging outliers in location-aware networks. This is joint work with Yi Li and Da Peng Liu. In most location-aware networks, it is assumed that all the anchor nodes are benign and working properly. By ranging or distance estimation with anchor nodes, agent nodes are able to determine their position. When our assumption regarding the anchor nodes is false, this will lead to severe positioning errors. Existing work on this topic is mainly related to the impact of signal obstruction. The two works cited here use linear programming to determine sparse error patterns in a set of range estimates to detect outliers. In this paper, we propose a Bayesian method that can achieve superior performance and can be easily extended to cooperative networks. Let us first describe the system model. We have a network comprising anchors and agents. Anchors can be either functional, in which case they generate reliable distance estimates, or malfunctioning, in which case the distance estimates are uniform within a, within a certain set. Given at least three distance estimates, an agent can determine its position using standard algorithms. We here consider least squares and linearized least squares positioning. In the latter algorithm, the variable z contains the unknown position, while a and y are known to the agent and are quadratic functions of the distance estimates and the anchor positions. Let us now evaluate the impact of outliers on least squares positioning. We have generated one agent and 10 anchors. Anchors are malfunctioning with a probability p. And this figure shows the average positioning error as a function of p. We see that when we fuse the information from all 10 anchors, severe degradations are incurred, even for small p. When discarding malfunctioning anchors, we achieve good performance for p less than 30%. This is exactly the range of p for which we aim to develop algorithms. A popular technique to deal with outliers is linearized least squares with linear programming. The errors due to outliers create a sparse error pattern E, which can be determined by solving a linear program. The result of two such algorithms are shown in the figure. We see that only for p less than 10% reasonable performance can be achieved, while for all other p degradations are incurred. Here we take a different approach using factor graphs. We consider the state of the anchors to be unobserved binary random variables, which indicate whether or not an anchor is malfunctioning. Now the joint distribution of all these variables, the agent position and the anchor states, can be factorized as follows. Based on the factorization, we can draw a factor graph, where we have one variable vertex per variable, one factor vertex per factor, and edges when variables appear in factors. On this factor graph, we can now run the sum product algorithm or belief propagation. Here, the downward message over edge S1 is initially uniform if we don't know whether or not the first anchor is malfunctioning. We then compute a downward message regarding A, one message for every anchor. This message looks as shown on the left. The message has a circular component, corresponding to the hypothesis of a reliable range estimate, and a flat component, corresponding to an unreliable range estimate. And these components have weight each one half. Finally, we fuse these messages and get a peaky distribution around the agent location. This peaky distribution is then used to compute upward messages and to update the uncertainty regarding the states of the anchors. Now this scheme can be easily extended to multiple agents, in this case two agents. These agents then exchange information through packets over the wireless network regarding the state of the anchors. Here we have colored the different parts of the factor graph. If we now rearrange these parts of the factor graph and add more and more agents, we get a factor graph that looks as follows. Now this type of structure is somewhat reminiscent of LDPC codes, which have factor graphs that look like this. We actually use this similarity to perform an exit chart analysis in the paper. These exit charts are not covered in this presentation. In this figure now, we show the performance of our new algorithms for a scenario with two agents and 10 anchors. The two curves here are the curves we've seen before. Now, by applying our algorithms, we find out without cooperation, we have good performance for p up to 20%. If we then apply cooperation, for virtually every value of p, we achieve near, near optimal performance. To summarize, we have proposed a novel Bayesian outlier detection method for location-aware networks. This method outperforms existing methods, can easily be extended to a cooperative scenario and achieves close to optimal performance. Future work includes the reduction of complexity, 
the sensitivity to modeling assumptions and the effect of colluding anchors. Thank you for your attention. Please also view our other videos on tinyurl.com slash hymersh.